Oh, look at this place. Amy, Amy, are you here? I've looked around. I don't see her. I think Amy's already gone ahead. Seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about. Promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along? Oh, of course, sure. Now, if I ever need a snack, you got me. <laughs> Fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh... Here's my lore card. The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. It's, it's true! You varmint. What are you all doing in my saloon? I'm trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. <laughs> <coughs> Enough of that. Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope. I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Manilia, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we all were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. <laughs> Sadly, this one is empty as well. Starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. Only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Hmm. I think Tails is ignoring me. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. Mm. Knuckles, are you blushing? I said, leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust? Did you just adjust your hat a bit so he could see it better? I said, leave. <laughs> Clearly, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused from... punches. Who could have done that? <laughs> what are you two looking at me for? Smashed Arcade is added to your inventory. Decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. I hate to see them like this, but they do. Medical malpractice? Interesting. Breathtaking views. The train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters, though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. I'll never understand this friend group. Manilia, this is interesting. What is it? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? 
Vanilla, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. Used cups are added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. The robotic arms here are really helpful. What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible! What interesting tech. Oh, can I fear my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Mm. Kind of bland. Hmm, seems like someone licked all the salt off them. Mm. Do it! Or maybe they're just unsalted? Knuckles, Manili and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It is? We have evidence, too. We do? Manilia, just take a good look at your inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? The arcade machine? Huh! What makes you think I touched it? isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... Covered in punches. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag, and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you- I'm on it! Distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on! <laughs> The arcade machine is fixed. No! Don't look at the scores! Quick, look at the scores! I'm pulling it up now. What does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. Tells us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector! He's supposed to be in the library car. Hmm... Picture is beginning to be painted here. You've competed with Vector to see who get the highest score. And Vector beat you. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Uh. He's punching the air in frustration. 
You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Hector's a common name. Prove to me he was here now. Now, Manilia, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's party, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's, I'm, it's not like that. It's not. I wasn't... Oh, don't tell Amy... I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say. Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest, I don't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what of the cup with the lipstick mark? Rogue was here too. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. He searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game, and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently? Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm. I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games, Rogue couldn't find something, and left. The Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our que- Actually... That's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list. What is Tails talking about? Not a mind reader. Let me check the list again. Which name stands out? All the other names have a food theme, but this one. Here, who goes by Ultim. You may not know, but there is someone here that goes by that title. The Ultimate Life Form. There's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So, Shadow is here too? He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him, saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why a shadow locking doors? What was Rogue searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me, and even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your stories, Knuckles. We'll know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough, the library is in the next car. I'll open the lock for you. 
Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails. And Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwave chili jog. Vanilla! Coming! Ready to mosey down to the next car? You got it, partner. Onwards! All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already, before you go, SBO and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Um, Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Have you found any leads yet? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl. Oh, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you and quick. But how are you going to leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh... Here to ask if anyone's hungry. Starved. I'll kill for a chicken parmesan right about now. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, uh, poetry. A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Sure. Uh... Here drops in the spring, and you hear me sing, la la la, dee dee dee. Was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm uh, satisfied for now. Thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Vanilli and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we were all sent off, Rogue, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car. Where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself come. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rogue? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rogue came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. Came back shortly after, and we heard her shout, No way! at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found? She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rogue left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car, where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car again, locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car, where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. 
That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling in us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived, asking questions. She's the one that told us that someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm, with all these locked doors, seems Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We just gotta peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. Ha! Huh. And if you like to be serenaded with the poem, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys! Your alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio is actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. So many books on the ground. I wish I had time to pick them all up. Sadly, have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rogue pulled a lot of these out too, searching for something. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. It feels empathy for everything. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Ah, I really thought there'd be something there. Are you are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? No, no, I'm all right. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Um, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay. These trash bins hide a secret, I'm sure of it. Nelia, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Is that supposed to be a compliment? A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat, either. Sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia. Have you ever been there? I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. I'll tell you everything about the area and makes one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. This group knows everyone has been everywhere, haven't they? What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck. This reeks of evil scientist Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. Weird that this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelette. You may not be wrong. Fancy a poem? How about a poem about trains? Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean. Oh wait, there's my lotion. Uh, thanks. I actually really liked that one. Can I take your order? I have a poem about this. My starved stomach babbled, though I ignore the grumbling tummy, for the eggs I received are scrambled when I asked for my eggs, Sunny. Oh, wow. Um, we don't serve any eggs on the train, though. My talent is wasted on you lot. Ah, let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy. So plush. So plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. No, no, don't fall asleep! There's been a murder, remember? I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time. Ooh, brochures! There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Look at this! There's a couple of maps here! This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Should we take this brochure about a cave too? Look, 
there's stalactites. Yeah, leave it. Oh, fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Keo hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, Hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. This little... This little guy hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety, because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this guy can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster. Right? Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train. I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup-stained apron, not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, I definitely think you were a murderer. But what if I hid the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Can I take your order? Ah, oh, yes, please, I'm starved. Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. The murder mystery is more important. And why would you show the menu to me? Come on, why would you tease him like that? And here I thought I could trust you. You've made a fool of me. Look, you made him a fool. Come on, Anilia, smooth this over. No, I'm the fool. Yeah. Yeah. I smooth things over, but at what cost? I got our book club. Book of the month, gone now. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock is added to your inventory. I got a poem about space. I made it up to space with my beloved antique vase. But a mistake in my haste, I dropped the vase from my embrace. So my antique, I must now replace. What caused you to drop the vase? Don't read too deeply, it's just a poem. He hasn't thought it through, has he? Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one. The Mirage Express Manual. The user guide to Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio to find out what really happened. So, the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. We're here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles and S in... And if Espio really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to prevent evidence if need... Oh, that's easy. I got bored. What? It wasn't... I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remembered the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, Espio. Rogue entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was. 
Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? He doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what that book might be. Would you help me out? All right. What book do you think Espio may have been reading? A manual? You think he was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelf are all in alphabetical order. All except this manual. Meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you. Hey, now, I won't have you insulting my pal like... Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espio. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading, the Mirage Express Manual. Friends are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Nelly, if you don't mind. Could you ask him some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz him about the manual to prove he read it. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to insist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterward. Remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. Though, I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like Espio aced that question. Hit him with another one. What is the cancellation policy? No refunds and you'll be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Hey, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last one. Let's see if he can go for three for three. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to ensure smooth travel for guests. Remember this, the train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? Yes. Totally. It was wild that you were able to return all that information so quickly. A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both have the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't you want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can... Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yeah, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. We have evidence to back it up. Anelia? This puts me on the spot. Okay, think. We should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who, who also saw Espio reading, but what? Shadow's lock? Please, pray tell, what does that have to do with anything? We're up. Let's get our argument together.
Dad will walk through the library car to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Rocks are natural gamers. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of the doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up. Well, I... you see... I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So, if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would he have left? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. The mystery, my dear Manilia, one that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't... I... It doesn't seem right to me. Tails definitely feels like he's on to something, but I don't see it. Was he simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails! We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Alright, my fellow associate, lay it on me. A piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another. All right, now let's get my thoughts in order. library map oh oh i see see the exits they're right across from another a straight path if shadow walked down the straight path there's a way espio and shadow couldn't have seen one another looks like you all have a point looks like you'll have to point out where exactly on the map you mean where could espio been for shadow to not see him Interesting, that's where I was sitting, reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. Because a bookcase is in the way! There's no way Shadow could have seen him, or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return. There's just no way you could have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. It felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth but i'm glad you all believe me now your alibi isn't the most airtight but i have no further points thank you both for answering all our questions we, we did it another pair of alibis validated too many locked doors to worry about but i'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end well i'm exhausted i'm gonna crash here for a bit these chairs are so comfy likewise i could use a breather Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rogue, and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give him heck. If you need money meat chopped up, say the word. 
I'll keep the poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose while doors keep getting locked. Tick, tick, tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, let's see what's next. Coming. 